And now right now we're just cleaning up this piece of three quarter plate. It uh, was burned out or something, so I got a one more pass to clean up all the burn marks. And then I'll flip the other side. The other side's the same. It's the only piece of three quarter I had. So anyway, I'm not gonna film this being done. It's just monotonous turning or milling, I should say. So I went over to Cornish Auto. Got a solenoid. It's got a light. It's gonna light up to show that the solenoid has actually made contact. Oop. And uh, we'll have that on the input side, I think. I may change it to the output. I'm not sure. Um, where it's a regular light bulb, if I put it on the uh, return, I don't know if it would go from dim to bright so that I would know that when it come bright, I would have full saturation. I'm not really sure how that would work. I'm going to have to play with this a little bit before I actually make my container. Um, just a uh, contact, 30 amp. They don't make them like they used to. You know. Used to be stuff felt smooth, you know, they don't anymore. Got a couple of battery terminals. These here I had upstairs. Made myself a wooden base. And I got a piece of, uh, oh, I forget what this aluminum is. It's what you make fuel tanks for airplanes out of. Um, anyway, I got a piece of that left over. I can make my box out of. So things are coming along. I'll uh, show you these pole pieces that go on top here once I get them cut in two and kind of machined. Okay, I got the pole, day, pole pieces done. Um, in case somebody wants to build one. Basically, the, that one's three and seven eighths. That one has three and seven eighths. And they're three and a quarter wide. Um, three quarter inch thick. I've got three holes in here. One at straight on, one at 625, and one one and a quarter. This here's got the same statin and stopping hole, but I milled it between. So it's infinite in its adjustment. And <clears throat> just because I'm dying of curiosity, um, I want some of this fluff out of the way. Let's see here. This one is in, this one is out, this one is in. So we are gonna go right here. I'll wire not those two. Let's see here. <clears throat> Get the battery charger over here. <laughs> My clamps ain't much good, but we'll uh no, that one went. Good. It'll stay there without getting frigged out. Let's see if this one works. That is on 12 volts. It's just a battery charger. Yeah, it goes back. That's good. I don't know if you can see that or not. Yeah, get you a little closer, maybe. There we go. So. That will not come off. So, yeah, that's pretty, uh, it happens pretty fast. Um, anyway, I'm watching the uh, meter, and it takes about maybe a half, three quarters of a second for it to saturate. Okay, everybody, <clears throat> I got the pole pieces done. Um, I made the wooden, <clears throat> Jesus, can't hardly talk here. I got the wooden board made this afternoon all glued together and screwed and the next video will be assembling all of the electrical components here in the front so basically the charger is done you know I could put a magnet on there and just use my hands and just touch stuff and it would go but I'm gonna you know put a switch on and a little console just for the fluff of it you know why not 
So anyway, we'll tackle that tomorrow night probably. So I hope everybody out there is doing great, keeping safe, and we will see you on the next one.